This one. This administration update. Howard Druckmann thumbs through dozens of notices he's received recently from Achilles, a Swedish-based corporation that owns the Toronto building he lives in. 38 so far, each warning of an impending disruption due to maintenance or renovations. Uh, shutting down heat, uh, shutting down water, um, coming into the suites, checking fire alarms, those kinds of things. So it's been very interruptive. Achilles owns about 3,500 rental units in Toronto, 3,900 in Montreal. The UN report hasn't been made public, but Leilani Farha says she has concerns with the way Achilles operates. Tenants told me that renovations would get so unruly that tenants were being felt that they were being sort of forced out. And once a, once a unit is empty, much easier to raise that rent right up there. Achilles has 60 days to respond to the report. It insists it only renovates vacant units and is upgrading housing stock. Our business model is to provide uh, better livings and those buildings present opportunities that requires um, renovations and um, more investments to the buildings. Some tenants complain that comes with a high cost for them too. There was renovation going on outside, so the drilling was at my head. There was renovation going on on the other side of our space because they were renovating a unit there. And then there was a renovation going on across the hall in the elevator. The UN says Achilles isn't breaking any laws, but wants the federal government to ensure Canadians have access to adequate housing in a tight rental market. The government says it's reviewing the report and will work with provinces on the issue. John Lancaster, CBC News. Toronto.